Greetings to all our fans. With this video we want to show a short preview of the current development phase of our Atom Plus system. We will no doubt be releasing more videos with updates and more details in the near future. Welcome, radio enthusiasts from all over the world. As most of you already know, I am the founder of this project. Personally, I've always been a retro enthusiast. I have always been actively involved with computers for the past 40 years. The first computer I bought was actually not really a computer, but a game console, namely the Atari 2600, and it was the beginning of everything. The first real computer that I bought afterwards was the Atom computer and that has to be somewhere in the 80s because a lot was happening in computer land at that time. The Atom that I was certainly fond of had to make way for other systems soon. The Atom computer will always hold a special place in my heart. I have been lucky enough to be able to turn my hobby and passion into a profession that I enjoy every day to the fullest. Technology will always remain my passion. Today I'm going to present to you something that has been in development for over a year now, called the Adam Plus project. I started the project myself and a few months later my best friend joined in. Because I'm a big fan of open source, it was obvious to make this project available as open source as well. Offering everyone the opportunity to rebuild, adapt and improve it. All source code and building plans will be available online when the project is fully ready. There are currently a lot of changes and new developments going on and we want to prevent someone from trying to build the project when everything is not working properly yet. I started the project with the aim of developing a compact device that emulates the original Atom computer as closely as possible. The first important choice to make was choosing the right platform to build the emulator on. Several routes were possible such as the FPGA based emulator, not easy but not impossible either. Like all other options, FPGA has its limitations and it didn't seem like the right way to go anyway. It would restrict future expandability too much. The idea came to me to do it differently, namely by means of a software emulator. In the end, the decision was made to de develop Atom Plus on a Linux host system running on an ARM-based hardware platform. Thanks to my friend's Linux expertise, it was possible to further develop the project on this platform. We certainly didn't want to be just another system in line of the gigantic selection of mostly low quality Chinese emulator based game boxes that promised to emulate massive amounts of games from almost every retro system ever hit the market. Having bought and tested some of these systems, I was very disappointed with the performance and quality of these emulators. The emulators were not fast enough in terms of CPU processing power, lacked a lot of functionality and were very buggy. Our system should be of much better quality and offer much more possibilities. The system we want to develop must be plug and play, it must work as it should from the first moment. We also don't want to develop an emulator like all the others which got me thinking in the first place we want to emulate the Atom computer as faithfully as possible and offer the possibility to connect original Atom peripherals such as a keyboard, joystick, data reader, modem and printer. After working on the project for about 5 to 6 months, the ID came to support more retro systems. The hardware we use is more than powerful enough. By building a separate system-specific expansion modular, we can support many more different systems. The SNAP expansion module was born. The SNAP module is an expansion module for the Atom Plus that has everything on board to support peripherals of a specific system. A 
the moment we have already developed an expansion modular for the Atom computer. This NAP modular makes it possible to play game ROMs as well as original cartridges using the original hardware such as joysticks and keyboards connected to the SNAP modular. More devices will be supported in the future. We are also trying to make more recently developed hardware extensions such as the AdamNet Drive Emulator, abbreviated ADA, and the FujiNet ActBit Computer Network Adapter that connects via the AdamNet Serial Bus, compatible with our Adam Plus system. At the moment, we have already progressed to the point where it is possible to use the original keyboard and joysticks. It is also already possible to use original game cartridges as well as the more modern cartridges that require a special modular to work on the original Atom. With the Atom Plus you will therefore get a system that is maximally compatible with the original Atom computer. We don't stop at the Atom computer either, but we want to be able to emulate a much more wider range of retro computers. If you would like support for another system, take a MSX computer for example, then there is a good chance that it will also be supported in the future so that you can also connect original MSX hardware to the Atom Plus. We use existing open source emulators that we have modified to work perfectly with the hardware we develop. We greatly appreciate the hard work of the authors of these emulators. Together we can expand the use of this software more and more. Obviously, we are not going to reinvent the wheel and we use Emulation Station as the front end to play games from a bunch of different systems. We have made adjustments to Emulation Station to better suit our needs such as using snaps, selecting, copying and playing cartridge games. The plug and play possibilities of this system will be a big advantage. If you have an Atom Plus system, setup should be limited to placing the device on the table, connecting the HDMI cable to the Atom Plus, your TV or monitor, connecting the joystick and or keyboard, and connecting the power cable. For best experience, it is recommended to use a monitor or TV with HD capabilities, which normally shouldn't be a problem with any modern TV or monitor. If you want to use an older type of TV or monitor, you can use an appropriated adapter which are readily available from lots of online stores. For the best experience, so that you can enjoy all the possibilities, I strongly recommend using a 69 monitor that supports at least HD resolution. So this was a short explanation about the origin, development, possibilities and future plans for our Adam Plus project. Hopefully it has also given you a little more insight into the history of the Adam Plus project and what is currently going on in our small Adam Plus team. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, we would like to hear it from you through the usable channels. We are currently also working on putting an Adam Plus forum online. The forum will make it a lot easier to answer questions from interested people that everyone can read along. For now, thank you for watching, stay safe and stay healthy and we will see you the next time. We do everything possible to offer our product online to our loyal fans as soon as possible. Because we can only work on the project in our spare time, it is of course going less quickly than what we initially hoped. We are currently only working with the two of us. End of transmission. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.